Hey YouTubers, GKKiller15 here, and this is the Mega Hall Part 2 update of my room. In my collection of video, I did say this was coming out pretty soon. So, yep, it's coming out today. In my previous video, it was basically the downbreak of the roof. Now, part two is up and ready to go out. As you can see, all the surveyors have gone up. I bought trains and that other stuff. I still have a planned video for Lion Arcade 456. It's a requested one. That one's going to go up pretty soon. And here we are. This is the passenger area, and immediately you can see the new update. I'm sorry for the bad glare. Can't do anything about it. There's a little hill portage here. There's a hill portage on both sides. More about that later on the both sides. Sorry. You can see here there's a fence here that's going to fence off the passenger stations off here. A big, a big crossover. Platform 3 to Platform 2. Platform 1 to 2. 2 to 3. 1 to 2 and etc. Highway bridge. Here's when a new dial begins. The passenger tracks followed by the highway bridge on the left. Still being worked on. Two fences. There's a station with a sick with signals. That's completed. But the, uh, the fence work needs to be completed. You can also see about these big bridges too. Um, I don't know if I showed these in my last video, but you can see the, the little red bridge in the background is a passenger bridge, and then there's one bridge there that's for a freight traffic up, and there's another one there that's another freight traffic bridge. That passenger bridge goes onto a little levee here. Nah. Okay. Sorry. There's water here. The little lady is basically dividing all the water from land. Pretty soon this certain parts of here will be covered in water. And I may just cut that out and build a tunnel, build a bridge. Yeah. Here on the far left, we have passenger tracks. In the middle we have freight tracks. And on the far right we have passenger tracks. I think I showed these off. The fences are still being built. The bridge. The next diamond crossing. With detectors on it. These passenger lines will meet, connect up to these two passenger lines here. As trains from either south or north. Only southbound can connect here, but probably northbound will connect on the nose. Northbound, I'm still working on the northbound side. The northbound side will connect and go on there. That's probably, that's going to be in part three. A diamond. Nothing really new here except for this little signal box with lights on them this is so that the signal crew can see where what trains coming from either or what the diamond diamond so they can control the signals and again nothing really has happened here the only thing that's happened here is that these two tracks this track here used to go across there and that one used to go across there but now they're going to their main line separately.
so yeah. Moving on. Crossings. More fencing. Yeah, I started building yards now. I didn't... On this side, we got uh, Bull Creek Yard. For multiple industries. And the coal district that's down the line. This is Bull Creek Yard North. Here we're still in progress is Bull Creek Yard, the yard South. But there's one problem. There's a road in the way. What did they do? They built a little grade crossing here. It's not designed to stop traffic, it's designed to warn traffic. With BNSF 50 standing light tower and with default lights, the lights for visibility, the bell from here is to be heard. Same thing down the line. Three track. Four track. Moving on, passenger line has a crossing now with elevated Letty. Let's go down the road for a bit. We're on the elevated, elevated lady part. Where there's a little road intersection here. All by that little highway bridge. Which, that road bridge which goes over and goes to the next crossing. Letty. With a road on it. There's going to be housing in this area on part 3 coming up. Fencing. So that... No rail fans decide to jump the tracks. And there's Skyway Bridge. Pretty soon I may put a camera right here so that there's a good view of Skyway Bridge. With the road. And the ladies. And again, another fence. With another road there. It's more housing is going to go there. Fencing. We got two bay, two beam bridges that go over the road them, roads themselves, and then the roads split off into three areas. This is going to be industries. This side is going to be housing slash industries. Here's going to be housing. More elevated land. I just put this bridge in yesterday over the passenger line which connects down to the road with the little lady on the side fencing still the ATLS crossing Right here. I still haven't figured it out yet, so I'm just leaving them there. See them. Now we have to go to the west part side of the, of the layout of the route. We got fencing. Now here's something new. I think. I put two bridges here instead of having a little hill go up so that it saves time and plus you can save some of the environment. Here's what I did today. A big diamond crossover. So basically how this diamond crossover will work. Let me just get my camera on. Okay. How this diamond works is northbound traffic could switch onto westbound tracks. Westbound traffic could switch on the north. Southbound could switch on the west. 
eastbound can switch on the south. It's basically a big crossover. All ballasted, ready to go. All the tracks have been connected, BTW. Um, I'm still working on the land portages of it. So, like, there's going to be more hills still before it is officially housing and that stuff. Bridges, nothing really happened. Before this was ATLS crossing areas, they've been removed. And I just put grade crossings here. So yeah, basically, stay uh, keep an eye out for part three of the route, as there's gonna be probably there's gonna be more scenery. Oh yeah, I also put this double diamond crossing in here too. There's one more thing I gotta show you that's in a bridge, so I gotta be careful. Okay, there it is. I was able to put signals in the bridge. So that trains can see while it's accelerating up to speeds of almost 90 miles an hour on this section of track. And the next ones are coming up. Oh, sorry, I shot. Oh, okay. With trains accelerating over 90 miles an hour, you want your signals to be nice and safe. Okay, you know what? I was just happy. Okay. With 90 miles an hour trains, you want your signals to be perfect. So. There's two signals on the bridge to warn any train traffic about anything approaching, like randomly, let's just say another train gets halted up here because of another train crossing over. And then we have another diamond over here that will switch over so that trains can be de decide which track they go on depending which way of the, of the route they're going. Overall, that's the video. Stay, stay tuned for part three of the route update. And also stay tuned for the first run on this route. Which is coming to you very shortly. In about, I think, one to two days now. I think it's either tomorrow or Monday that's going to come out. Or even later. Keep an eye on it. And that's the video, YouTubers. GTA Killer 15 here, signing out. Peace, YouTubers.